Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about responses, I suppose. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, as a senior software engineer, when you explain architecture of a moderately complicated project that you built over six months to a director, and if the director says that my intern can build that in a month, how would you respond? Well, I would probably respond, all right, where was this person when I needed them? I assume. I don't really know what to say to that because uh, I can't imagine a serious like a director like whatever uh, I'm guessing this happened to you uh, and so I, it's hard for me to say because like, uh, if you've been working on something for six months and someone else quote unquote can do it in a month and it's like apparently an intern and so forth either like it's more likely that this person is a dick to you uh, and doesn't really have like, I mean I mean in my head I basically see a former programmer person telling you that this system was very is very simple and then basically sort of degrading you um, and I don't know I can maybe I, I know some people would get really upset about this sort of stuff but like I just don't because I, I, I've, I've said this in a few other videos so guys I try to I'll try to just keep it brief but I've done this thing like software development for long enough now where like it, it's nothing to me to hear someone say something like that because I know that unless you are gifted to the point where you can basically go toe to toe with me on software development like you're literally a fairly experienced you're a very experienced software developer who I'm assuming now have some type of godlike abilities because we're talking if you can do it's basically the sixth time a, you're you're six times as more uh, as effective. Uh, like it's there is no scenario where this statement would be true if I was involved in the project. At least I can't imagine a product where that could be true unless like the intern. Like I mean, if it's like com data science or something like I'm, I don't know anything about it for sure. Absolutely, then you can probably find more than a few interns that can beat me in that thing. But the like this idea uh, that someone would be able to do that is fairly fairly low and it's more you know it's a, just an attack on you and some people will would take that very personally and i would just go yeah all right cool what can we okay what do we say now like what do we do and the reason i usually feel fairly comfortable with these sorts of matters guys is because i take the time to really know the problem that I'm dealing with. And I feel after this long fairly confident in that I, it's been a while if I just tell you this. It's been a pretty long while since I had a problem in my job that I didn't know how to solve in a, a fairly efficient and readily, like, ready way because I've dealt with so many different things because most of the work that I do is very has been very similar to all the other stuff that I've been doing and usually I you, you build up like an experience level to where you can deliver this sort of stuff in your sleep basically it's just work it's not like there's no experimentation or like finding shit out anymore it's just you do this thing it's like you know a chef uh, who's cooked a hundred meals like it's just something they know how to do and it's the same thing for me so what I would do in these sorts of situations is to basically go through the with the director uh, the reasons why I find it very difficult to believe that an intern could do this because if an intern can like a like the uh, I'm assuming this person has never trained an intern I've never met an intern who could even pull down the repository without my help. Never met an intern who could complete a single uh, task without fairly extensive onboarding. So don't let such, such a comment get to you. Try instead to get to a point where as I said sort of as I'm not saying that you have to do like what I do, but at least I can tell you that I've gotten a fair bit of personal strength from really knowing my shit. 
it, because when you really know your shit and you know you're intimately familiar with the architecture, the project, the state of the code base and the t backlog and all this sort of stuff, it's like breathing to know what's coming up, how long it's roughly going to take, who you're dealing with and so forth. This is, I've talked about this a few times in my other videos. This is sort of like one of the pillars of my style of leading thing, leading teams and taking on projects and that is to do the inventory. Basically my first and only priority is to figure out who am I working with, what is the state of the code base, where are all my dependencies, like the, all the systems and the people who give me access, all stuff like that, and who are my stakeholders. And then I've, I've made other videos about this, like I create as I call the little rickety fence around my sheep, my herd of sheep, which is like my software team and like all the stuff that we do in order to produce value for the company. And then I put up everything around it so I know what, where the boundaries are and then I focus on uh, making that uh, a, a streamlined process and when you do that like the other day literally the other day we I got rogue invited to a high level planning meeting with all the different product people within the company that I was working with uh, working with for and the they literally gave me five minutes I had five minutes to plan the three three months of work like just like so most of the, and the the reality was that I hadn't even like most of the other like the other product managers had already had a pre like a, a pre planning session to do this. I just sort of slid slid in on a banana banana peel on this thing, right? And I could still basically produce in within those five minutes because I really know how the system. Like I've figured it out at this point. I have enough information, and I know sort of what the priorities are. I know what the stake, who the stakeholders are, and I know what the direction is. And that level of understanding of what you're dealing with means that if you feel comfortable that you can solve that problem and there aren't really all that many unknowns for you and you have that inventory in place and you sort of know your domain then there is no way that you ha you don't have to feel threatened by someone stating like that because stating something like that because if this unless this person literally knows the code as well as you do or is as i said just very very good there is no fucking way that this is anything by uh, but some weird like like power move from someone who doesn't really know anything and it should fall you're just going to slide off you like like water or something like that when you really know your stuff so what i want you to take away from this is that what i would respond to someone like who said something like that and said that an intern could do this thing in a month instead of six months would be yeah i'm sure there is i would love to meet that person but due to A, B, C, and D, this is how long it's been taking. And then I can just sort of go through point by point where all the flaws are. And I can basically guarantee you that most of the flaws that I will find is systematic problems that this person most likely is indirectly responsible for causing, the delays and dependencies that I can't deal with because this person has probably hired a bunch of incompetent coworkers. You know, you, you can just go through, you mean if you wanna to go to counterattack on this person, it, I don't say I'm not suggesting that you do that but you can but the best thing for you I think guys is just to re if you really feel confident in your own skills and I'm not saying that you have to be the best programmer in the world I'm saying that you have to know your system and you have to know why things take the time they take and like sort of be on top of things if you are on top of things very little can face you so comments like this it's like just weirdly rude behavior from someone who's not going to get to you because you know your stuff and that at least for me gives me, it gives me a fair bit of like self assurance that I don't need that from some other person because I know that give, if you could put basically anybody else on this thing and they were they are not going to be able to do this all that much better because this is as I like to say guys the problem is what the problem is and sure you might find some type of superstar or super mega uh, developer who can do all the things and that might be true but it's very unlikely if you actually know what you're supposed if you actually know your system and you know how to to do software development at a senior level or something like that have a great day